Hey friends, so last week we talked about 2D shapes in math, and this week we're going to be talking about 3D shapes. So you guys did a great job of finding some 2D shapes and um, identifying attributes and characteristics that each 2D shape has. So now we're going to move on to 3D shapes. And when we think about 3D shapes, we want to think about some new vocabulary, and I'll post that new vocabulary too so that you guys can see it along with all the 3D shapes that we're going to talk about. Um, just in a page so that you can print it off if you want to practice it or you can look at it and just review it and find some shapes in your house that are similar to those 3D shapes. So um, some things we want to think about when we're thinking about 3D shapes, just like we have sides and vertices in a 2D shape, we also have those in a 3D shape. Remember a vertice is a point or a corner that a shape has, so just be remembering that. Um, that's a big word, but I do want you guys to practice using that math language. It's called a vertice. And then something special that's with 3D shapes is called a face. And three different sh shapes have a different number of faces. So we're going to talk about that right now. And I'm going to go through some shapes that I found um, in my house. And we will count how many faces, vertices, and sides that each of these shapes have. Okay. So we're going to start with sphere because I feel like that is one of the easiest 3D shapes to remember because we all have probably played soccer or basketball or some sport that um, you use a ball in. So for my sphere, I actually did not choose a ball. I chose, it's a little chapstick, um, but it is shaped like a sphere. It is a circle all the way around. Now a sphere has no sides no vertices, and it also has no faces because it's completely round. Okay, so this one's pretty easy. It has none of the above. No vertices, no sides, no faces. All the way around, I could take my finger and rub it all the way around. Okay, so that's a sphere. Also, I have a cube. This is another type of 3D shape. This is a ring box. Um, it's a little bit different than a cube because of this little raised part, but just ignore that. Um, it's the closest thing I had at the moment, but anyway, we can count how many sides and faces and vertices that this cube has. Um, so we'll start with faces. Now, when we're talking about a face of a 3D shape, we're looking at the flat part, okay? So if I was to count the faces on this 3D example or this 3D cube, I would start probably at the top because it's easier for me to keep track of. So I have one on top. Also have one on the bottom, so that's one, two, and then I need to count the ones around. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So a cube has six faces. And then if we want to count how many vertices it has, vertices, remember, is the same thing as points or corners. So I could go around and count the vertices of this cube. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight. Okay. So two, four, six, eight. You could also count by twos. If you want to try doing that, that would be awesome. Um, so this shape has, excuse me, eight <laughs> vertices. And if we count sides, it's a little bit different when we're doing a 3d shape versus a 2d shape because a 2d shape is flat. So I can count it really easily. 3d shapes are popped up. So I need to really take into account all the, all of the sides that this shape has. So when I'm thinking about sides of a 3D shape, I'm thinking about this long side. Okay. So we're going to count all the sides on this cube. One, two, three, four. Don't forget the top. Five, six, seven, eight, and the bottom. Nine, 10, 11, 12. So this cube has 12 sides. It's pretty crazy, okay? Now, the next um, shape that we're gonna talk about is a cylinder. The closest thing I could find to a cylinder at the moment was my drink cup. So it is a cylinder because it ha it's a popped up shape, so it's definitely 3D. Okay, I can put stuff inside of it. I have water in it right now. So we could count the faces of this cylinder. We have a top and a bottom that are completely flat. Around it is completely round, kind of like a sphere. So we wouldn't count those. So it just has one, two faces. And then if we're, having, if we're counting vertices or points, 
This shape does not have any points. It doesn't have any vertices. But if I'm counting the sides, it also has no sides because it's completely circular on the bottom and it's completely circular on the top. And then around the outside of it is completely round. So that is a cylinder. It has two faces, but no vertices and no sides. Okay. Next shape that I have. This is an example of, back up a little bit, a rectangular prism. It's actually my jewelry box. So it is shaped like a rectangular prism. It has two, um, you can tell it's like, it's kind of like a rectangle. It has long, longer sides. All the sides are not equal like a cube would be. So it's a little bit different. We can also count the faces on this as well. So I'm going to start at the top. One face, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it has the same number of faces as a cube as well. And then if we're thinking about vertices, we're thinking about the points or the corners. We can count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or if you want to be fancy, you can count by twos. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, so it has eight vertices. And then we're going to go to sides. Remember when we're counting sides, we're not counting the faces, the completely flat part. We're counting this part. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't forget the bottom. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So it's very similar to a cube. It has the same amount of faces and vertices and sides as a cube does, but they are different because this one has longer sides and my cube example, all the sides were the same. Okay. Same size. All right. Those are the examples I have of some of the 3D shapes. The ones I could not find in my house were a pyramid and also a cone. Now, if I think about a pyramid, I always think about um, going to the pyramids in Egypt. So that's what I think about when I think about a pyramid. Um, if you can find a pyramid in your house, that'd be really cool. You could send me a picture of it on Seesaw. Um, but the thing about a pyramid that's pretty cool is it has one really tall point on the top and then it has four points on the bottom. So all together, it has five vertices. And then for faces, it has four faces around and then one on the bottom. So it also has five faces. And then if we're counting sides, we would count all four on the bottom because it's kind of like a square on the bottom. So four and then the four around the, um, the, the middle part of it. So four and four make eight. So it has eight sides. And then the last shape we were going to talk about was a cone. Cones are great because they are filled with ice cream. That's what I always think about when I think about a cone. So if you were to flip a cone um, over like you're eating an ice cream cone, okay, normally they sit like this if we're counting them, but we're going to go over like this, like we're eating an ice cream cone. So if we're looking at the top of the cone, it has one face on the very bottom, okay, because the cone part is all circular. So a cone has one face, and then it also has one vertice because it only has one point to it, okay? So one face, one vertice, and then if we were to count sides, it actually has no sides because it has no straight lines, okay? So those were pyramids and cones. I could not find them in my house. I'm so sorry about that. But if you have some in your house that you would like to show Miss Bab, that will be awesome. Like I said, you can send me a picture through Seesaw and we can check them out. Um, you'll have some activities this week that go along with 3D shapes. If you have any questions about 3D shapes, you can always um, message me and I can meet you during my office hour times. And I challenge you to look around and see if you can find any other 3D shapes. 3D shapes, remember, are a little bit different than 2D shapes because they're popped up and 2D shapes are flat shapes. Okay, so I hope you enjoy learning all about 3D shapes and the activities. And I will talk to you guys soon.